Our first guest is the uh, number one morning radio personality in New York and Philadelphia. Now listen to this, kids. This is very important. Uh, this summer he will be seen in four one-hour television specials. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program, <laughs> Howard Stern. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be back here, Dave. I, you know, I get a little paranoid. I don't hear from you for like a year. Are I you? Think, well, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe you can't be on every night. You have no, your own that's show. True. I mean, that's true. and you. No, would... but there, there are certain people who are on. I've made a study of this. Mm -hmm. Who are on a lot more than I am. Yeah. And uh, and why do you think that might be? Dr. Ruth. <laughs> She's now, she hasn't been on in a long time. Because I think we've all had it with Dr. Ruth, haven't we? There are certain people that, you, you know, after a while, and you get embarrassed when she talks about She hasn't that. been on in six years. <laughs> you really? Really, she is that true? She has a private practice in Geneva now. She doesn't, doesn't she, I mean, she here. says penis, Dave goes nuts. And yeah. I go, wait a second, this is a grown man. Yeah. A, I'm not buying it anymore. But <laughs> Dr. Ruth gets more time than me. Then you got um, Marv Albert. Uh -huh. And uh, sports clips? What's left? Yeah, you know? well, no, we want, we want as much of Marv in the you sports clips. You Marv. Oh, yeah, yeah. More than me. Yeah, and he, Marv has never said, to his credit, never said penis. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hasn't shocked anybody. Oh. That's why I like Marv, too. And, I, and the other one I question, the other one I question is Terry Gar. Terry Gar, another yeah. excellent guest. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I said either she's dating Dave or something. Something's up there. I don't see why. I, I should be so lucky. Really? Oh, yeah. She's a lovely woman. Right. Yeah. Well, anyway, anything's good. And, uh, listen. Mrs. David Letterman should be in prison for the rest of her life. What do we need? We need more of a sign from her or what? Yeah. Come to court with me. Now, Come. Howard, um, I can't stand her. So, congr let's talk a little bit about your... Uh, she looks cute up close, though, You know Dave. her? She looks cute up close. You know this I woman? dated her for three oh, years. I'm looking like, oh, God, every, all these women embarrassing me. No, I don't, I don't know her, but uh, she, she's clearly a loon and uh, should be locked up for the next 50 years. They're going to give her a psychiatric examination. We're going to uh, figure out if there's something wrong with her. There's something wrong with her, all right? Yeah. Custom material she writes. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now, anyway, yeah. so let's go back. Now, your show, for people who don't live in the Northeast, your show is in New York right here. That's right. Uh, also, Philadelphia and Washington. I, and I understand now you're not only number one here in New York, also in Philadelphia. Dave, there's a lot of excitement going on. <laughs> well, you can feel it. All of New York and Philly. I don't want to brag, Dave. You know that. I'm not one to brag. Yeah. But when you do well, you want to show people. In the Philadelphia newspapers, right. Stern becomes... Philadelphia's a very empty city, I think. This is front page news, Stern becomes number one. And this is my competition on here. Let me, let me show you this. Oh, let me show you. I brought, I brought you some clippings. Uh, now, this is the guy... Are, are yeah. they going by hair or listeners? Well, I think he's losing. The way I see it is... <laughs> I definitely beat him in the hair department. Yeah. <laughs> well, here it is. The big headline was... And you'll like this, Dave, because I know you enjoy the show. <laughs> the King DiBella is dead... All right. Long live the King Stern, right. it says. This is the old guy. And this is the old guy with his uh, Morning Zoo sailor's cap on. All right. And this is why I'm so proud to be in radio, because I compete <laughs> with guys with sailor caps. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this is a Morning Zoo yeah. phenomenon. Oh, I know, I know about the Morning, morning Zoo. zoo. Yeah. You get his, uh, Mike and Bob in the Morning Zoo. You get a big mustache and yeah. plastic wax teeth, yeah. and you get a Hawaiian shirt, and you what? go on and you just Wacky sort of sound effects. Get a little wacky, yeah. and uh, so we're, you know, this is very exciting for me to finally uh, take my throne, as right, I say. Right. And we'll be going into Philly. So you're planning a big celebration. Big celebration, I'm going into Philly, and I'm gonna have a uh, big funeral for this guy. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Big funeral, death to the zoo party. You know, we'll have the casket, we'll walk through the streets, I got a black wire, it's gonna be beautiful. I'll be in there. <laughs> when, when will this be taking place? On May 11th, Dave. Oh, I'll see if I can get I off hope and you can be there. Uh, we have to do a, a commercial, we'll be right back here with uh, Howard. <laughs> Welcome back to the big pro.
program, ladies and gentlemen, Howard uh, Stern is here. Well, Howard, uh, again, congratulations on all your success. And now, yeah. back to television, another television project in the offing. This summer, a big deal Dave, for, this for is, one of our, our specials. There's a lot of excitement, Dave, around this television <laughs> yeah. show. Now, I, you Who know, is it with? Who's doing the, who's packaging the vehicle? Well, if you want me to sound good, I'm going to tell you it's MCA syndication. Oh, if you want to know oh. the truth, it's Channel 9 in New York. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Channel 9 in New York. I don't want to say that too loud. But uh, we... You know, I've been talking to a lot of people about television, Dave. Right. I've been nervous. Right. I'm nervous about you, going you, television. You've uh, dabbled in television. Dabbled in you television. with television. I got burned. Yeah. The last time I got burned, I never actually got on television. I signed a deal with the Fox Television right. Network. As you you're going to do, do a nightly half hour, kind of a game show kind of deal, right? Game show. Right. I think I'd be good at that. I think right. I got the right look. A lot of people are very comfortable with that. No, I'm going to do a once a week show, Dave. All right. And uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. But hour, you know, I'll pack long. it with lesbians, Dave, yeah. as you know. <laughs> There'll be a lot of lesbians. Now, have you had creative meetings with the Fox people? We've come up with the lesbians. No, not the Fox people. We've dumped the Fox well, people. Well, this is not Fox. I'm sorry. What happened with Fox is Fox never got on the air. And you know the real story. Why? You, you were a guest with somebody and uh, you were a guest with uh, J uh, Joan on Joe River show. What is that? No, no, no. That's not nothing to do with it, Dave. Oh, I don't know. I, know then I don't know. Let me tell you the real story. I got in trouble with the FCC, remember? Yeah. Of course I was cleared of all charges. Sure. And uh, what happened was is that the Fox Network uh, took it upon themselves. Uh, I guess Rupert Murdoch was friends with the Cardinal of New York. Right. And the Cardinal of New York, who's now in television programming, I think he's become a programmer that the big hat the Cardinal wears evidently is a programming hat that he wears when he sits down and programs himself. He called Rupert Murdoch and said that I shouldn't be on TV. Really? How can you do business with yeah, this man? Take him off. Yeah. yeah. So I never got to be on television. All your life, Howard, it's been a struggle. It's always been a struggle, and I can't understand I've why. You've always had to fight, but yeah. you, you've persevered, and, and I'm sure that uh, this thing will probably, I hope, if, if this one doesn't work, you know there will be another one that will. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm excited about television. We're going to do some weird stuff. I'll, you know, I'll just talk. Right. You know, when I talk, people seem to listen. Right. They seem to like what I'm talking about. Somehow I tapped into uh, whatever society likes to hear. They, mm -hmm. It just seems I talk and I get high ratings. All right. That's pretty much what we do on the radio show. But yeah, but that's radio and people can listen in their cars while they're stuck in traffic. I'm not worried about it, but it'll be visual. Mm -hmm. For example, I'll do, uh, like, I'll talk about movies. Right. Like, I went to see uh, My Left Foot. I was not impressed with this movie. Uh, I, uh, no, 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 wait a second. Let me talk about My Left Foot. You don't want me to talk about My no, Left Foot? Oh, go ahead. Let's right. see what, my you left can... foot. <laughs> what you can do They made a this. big deal about a guy who could do things with his left foot. Right. Dave, so what I did on my radio show is I said I could do the same things with my left foot. Mm -hmm. I want to see how it is, having never done this. I can play guitar with my left foot. Mm -hmm. I can uh, comb my hair with my left foot. <laughs> so I said to your producer back there, I said, here, yeah, give me a comb. I'll comb Dave's hair with my left oh, foot. Oh, I don't think so. No. Check this out. Like the movie, all right? I don't. I don't, I don't think so, Howard. I don't. Hey, no, don't. No, 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 I don't. I don't. I think we can all. That's good. That's good. Howard Stern.